Hey guys, today we are making a low carb crock pot cheesy pepper chicken. And you better believe we're gonna do it all while having a whole lot of fun. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Back to my kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Crock.com. I am Mikey from Recipes That Crock.com. And today we are making a low carb chicken dish in our casserole crock. You can make it in any kind of slow cooker, um, a six quart slow cooker, or in the casserole crock. We are making a crock pot cheesy pepper chicken. And it is good. We had this a couple nights ago and it was wonderful. Yes. And so what we have already in our slow cooker is three pounds of boneless chicken. We prefer to cook with boneless uh, chicken thighs. You can use boneless chicken breast if you would prefer. Just keep an eye on it because your cooking time might be a little bit different. And to that, we have got... Oh, before we do that... Gentle. Okay, so we have also got two poblano peppers chopped up into bite-sized pieces. Yes. If you don't like poblanos or you can't find them, you could use Anaheim peppers instead. Or you could also, if you really don't want any kind of heat at all, you could also use um, bell peppers. Now, I cut these up and they don't look like they're going to be all that hot. And really, in the scope of Scoville units, and I'm not sure what the Scoville units are on a poblano pepper. Poblano, I sound like a redneck. On a poblano pepper. <laughs> Um, it's not really that high. It, to me, it tastes like a sweet pepper, like a bell pepper, with some heat behind it. However, in my thinking, it's not going to be that hot because it looks like a sweet pepper. I rubbed my nose. And I'm telling you right now, it's still a little spicy up in <laughs> yeah. there. These do have a little bit of heat to them. So if you don't like heat but you like peppers, absolutely use bell peppers. Green bell peppers would make this look beautiful. If you want some heat, use the poblanos, use the anaheims. Heck, go crazy and start using uh, uh, maybe a jalapeno or, if you're nuts, scotch bonnets. I, I'm not an expert, but I also think, just based off of the multiple times that I've bought uh, different kinds of peppers, is that it also depends on the time of year and when you get them and just how hot they some peppers are hotter than others they're kind of like slow cookers so so to our chicken we are going to salt and pepper to begin to give us a nice seasoned base you want to do the pepper 9 10 11 12 13 i all right and to that i'm going to add two teaspoons of garlic powder you could use fresh garlic if you want um, or even minced garlic I just kind of like in this dish to have the powder to make sure that you get a nice garlic flavor throughout that is pretty convenient in camper not to have to chop up a bunch of garlic yes we do have the minced though in the mm -hmm. uh, dried and then to that I'm gonna oh add... no use your bigger spoon I know you <laughs> I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons, She's you probably know me, use three. <laughs> of cumin. Um, that cumin gives it an amazing smoky mm -hmm. flavor. It's really, really, really good in this dish. It goes really well with those peppers. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of the peppers, just go on and, and sprinkle my peppers on top. Now, you see I'm handling these peppers? I will wash my hands before I touch any part of me. My eyes, my lips, my anything, really, because capsaicin can be a little warm, if you know what I mean. And then to the top of that, we are going to add a stick of butter sliced up, just evenly distributed. Now this is going to cook on high for two to three hours or low four to six hours until your chicken gets tender. 165 degrees at 65 degrees. 165 degrees minimum. We like ours at 170. Yes, for a texture, um, chicken and well, pretty much most meats, they get more tender the longer they cook. Um, oh, there's my lid. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this. We're going to probably cook ours on low since we're going to run some errands. But when we get back, we have a um, seven ounce package of Havarti cheese slices. Now, if you don't have Havarti cheese, 
You can use your preferred cheese on this. Um, I've made this with pepper jack cheese before. I bet it'd be good with provolone. Oh, it's even good, mozzarella. good with all kinds of different flavors. But I particularly like Havarti on this dish because it gives it a nice creamy cheese topping on top of your chicken with the smoky flavors and I really like that combination of flavors. So we're going to be using um, the Havarti cheese on ours when we get back. But this is going to go in the fridge while we cook and we, when we come back from running our errands we'll have some nice chicken to share with you. In three, two, one. And we are back. So we are back from running all of our errands and the chicken is definitely done. As you can see, um, our peppers, um, there's a lot of liquid on the outside and what you can do if you'd like is go ahead and scoop all the chicken out and drain that liquid off or you can just leave it like I, I'm going to. I really don't mind it because we just scoop things out with a slotted spoon anyways. Um, technically, if you wanted to, you could shred this chicken and then top it with cheese, make it into sandwiches. You can serve it just as a main dish with a side of um, green beans, or I think the other night we had a side of salad with it. But however you want to do it, you can serve it up now onto a plate and then top it with your cheese. But I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese in the casserole crock right now. Because the, cause, uh, the um, slow cooker is going to help melt all this lovely cheese over the top of the chicken for me before I serve it. Let's break up my cheese a little bit here. And so I'm just going to lay it down in there. Just like that. I'm going to use all, my whole pack of cheese. You can add as much or as little as you want. And like I said, you could save the cheese step for when you're serving it. So you could keep your leftover separate and melt fresh cheese over the top when you reheat. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to layer these on here. slices on the top and I'm going to put this back on the top and let the heat within the crock um, melt it. You can um, pop your slow cooker over to high to get it all nice and melty if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to uh, be back in the snap of a finger when my cheese melts so we can do a little taste test in three, two, one, And we are back. And so now you can see it's just been just a few minutes. My coffee maker is going right now. Mama needs recharged. <laughs> we'll wait for it. It really is delicious coffee. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, my cheese has melted and it just looks so lovely in there. So I'm just going to get just a little bit um, to do a taste test with you all just a little bit and as you can see it just scoops right out so I don't really worry about that liquid too much I'm gonna come up there to ya so we can chat so as you can see the chicken is super tender it's also very hot so that's why my plate keeps dropping because it's I'm trying not to burn myself There we go. Well, maybe. There we go. So I've got some of the pepper, some of the cheese, and the chicken. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is just a yummy dish. That would make really good sandwiches or wraps. Um, it would also just be good as a side like I said the other day we had it as a side with um, salad and everybody loved it it was great and I don't usually like a lot of heat and the poblanos don't add too much heat for me so it just adds a nice interesting flavor so but if you like this video we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up if you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, click subscribe down below and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. 
If you would like notified every time we upload a video, whether it's a cooking video, a travel video, a vlog video, we'd love for you to click the dingling down below. That is the notification bell and you will be notified by YouTube every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye guys. And it's good. Y'all, we just had this for dinner last night. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. It was that good. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like yesterday that I had it. <laughs> I had I had leftovers. No, you you had a different chicken dish last night. Crap, start from the beginning. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.